What's going on guys? My name is CBS. Welcome back to another Destiny video. Now, it's been a while since I produced a actual video. I have been live streaming on my channel for shit, two and a half weeks. And now that I'm back at work, uh, I feel like it's fitting that I get back to my regularly scheduled video. So, from here on out, my plan is to do a video, at least three videos a week and live stream throughout the week. So, I hope you guys continue to support me. The support of my channel has been tremendous lately, so thank you for that. Uh, so with that being said, today we are going to be looking at the Outbreak Prime. Now, this is the exotic pulse rifle from the raid. Now, I know I'm late on this, but I was part of the first group of people to get this um, about a week ago, I guess you'd say. Maybe it was longer than that, I forget. But its perks are intrinsically it has the corruption spreads. Enemies take repeat enemies that take repeated hits from this weapon spawn SIBA nanites that attack other enemies. Fallen take extra damage. Now, this is great for the raid as well as uh, any fallen type of encounter now the barrels we got smooth ballistics accurized ballistics and smart drift control i chose smart drift control because the increased impact and range really doesn't make a difference because it's going to be a three burst regardless so we what you want is to have the most ability to consistently land those three bursts outlaw is a great perk especially when you're trying to because the weapon doesn't have a very large magazine it has a decent sized magazine but the magazine is not super large it is larger than like something like the hawksaw but with 36, having that law is a great perk to quickly reload and engage the next target. I chose fitted stock, but it has hand-loaded hand and lightweight. Now, some people I've seen are using lightweight so they can move faster. I prefer fitted stock, again, to increase my stability. And then the final perk is virulence. Precision kills release a SIVA nanite swarm that attacks other enemies. Now, each each SIVA nanite that comes out after it is uh, it causes 7 damage. Now... At first, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal, but it actually is a really good perk for PvP because if you kill somebody in a hallway, let's say, the SIVA nanites spawn and it ends up almost leaving like a cloud of nanites. So if you decide to follow up behind your dead teammate, those nanites attack you, pretty much taking away your shield, allowing the enemy to take you down very fast. So what I found is, is that this perk is very effective. Now, what I'm going to do today, I was going to take it into the Iron Banner since this is one of the last few days for the Iron Banner, but I think that if I do that, uh, I'm going to have struggle. I'm going to have troubles because the Iron Banner is very shotgun heavy right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it into Clash and see how it does. So with that being said, let's jump into Clash. Here we go. Let's go. I'm up front holding the flag because yes, I am 387 on my Hunter. Um, I still am trying, I, w I wish they wouldn't have capped this out, but sorry, 387 ain't bad. So let's get, just jump in. Now, if you notice when you use the weapon, it has the Sea Knights, the Sea Knights, the Siva Swarm Nanites all over it uh, when you rank it all the way up. When you rank if you don't rank it up all the way, it does not have all that. So that's definitely a very cool ad addition that they added to it. Where's my first engagement at? Where's my first bitch? Ooh, look at those Sivas. Look at those Sivas to wreck them. I said seven before, definitely does four. Oh my god, man, my aim. Oh my god, my aim was so bad right there. Whatever, we starting off okay, we got a first kill. We should have cleaned up the second guy, but for some reason that my teammate being there threw me off for whatever reason. Oh, he got melted. No, 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 you're pushing me. No. Oh man, I, I, I probably could have got two, but he pushed me, so. That was an awful grenade. Tried to fucking. S s he tried to fucking. What's that? Uh, what that dude's name? Something Sigil? What the fuck is his name? Salad and Sigil. He tried to Salad and Sigil me. What the fuck? Hit him. I'm dead. Wow, I survived. I'm dead now, though. Oh my god. I ran into the fucking army. But I mean, to be honest though, I've used this weapon a good bit and I really do like the way it handles. It feels just like any high rate of fire pulse rifle does, except for it has, it almost has that thorn effect with the damage over time that it offers, so. Fuck, that hit me and him, wow. I'm so fucked right now. All right, let's circle back around. Let's not go through mid. All right, give me that. Have you guys no have you guys noticed that in the Crucible, it feels like your your super comes way faster than it used to? I don't know what that's about. All 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Where is he at? He's hiding. I hate you when they hide. Just come get it. You're done. You're done. Look at that. See what I'm talking about? It leaves like a sea of a cloud. So if his teammates decided to, to follow in his footsteps, it would be a bad day for them. All right, let's go super here. Triple. Oh, damn it. Damn it. That should have been a tri triple on that ass. So, if you guys haven't been watching, I have been live streaming a lot, almost every day. Um, it has been a lot of fun. Now, I'm, I'm working on switching over to start live streaming on Twitch. Oh my god, the lag on this guy is bad. But for the most part, I have been live streaming on uh, YouTube. And it's actually been a lot of fun. Like, the support on YouTube is amazing, man. It's like, I feel like for me, as a Destiny YouTuber slash streamer, whatever you want to call it, the ability to be seen is so much easier so that's why I've been streaming on YouTube if you're wondering I do plan on switching over to twitch eventually so if you haven't followed me on twitch you should do that uh, twitch for slash CBS King 757 you won't regret it if you like my YouTube content you will continue to like my twitch content so a little plug there while we while we try this weapon out we're not doing so bad right now all right let's see I want to see the numbers here what's the optimal damage critical and stuff that I normally show like I said I would like to do my weapon review I would like to start my weapon reviews like this instead of like the use before my weapon reviews have been so scripted and so you know broken down separately instead of just letting you guys see the weapon raw so that's what I'm more more so want to achieve here with these weapon reviews and vice the ones I was doing before nothing wrong with what I was doing before I mean I'm not saying I won't go back to that but I'm just saying that I think that if we do more of a raw review it might you guys might enjoy it a little bit better, so. Kind of like my live streams have been. He stuck me. Damn it, man. Damn it! Oh my god, my aim is so bad. I'm gonna die. Reload. He's beside me. Look at the lag in this lobby. It's ridiculous, man. Alright, let's get heavy. See what we can do here. 25 critical, 17 fucking uh, body shot. That's not bad. That's definitely decent. That's definitely similar to the Hawksaw in that regard. I'm going to pull out my sniper just because... Oh, man! Why? 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 Alright. I was pulling out my sniper because it's heavy, but that didn't fucking work. I'm gonna pull out my sniper one more time just for heavy round. You know, there's heavy still on the board. I don't wanna fucking blow it here. What? Oh my god, the lag, I'm dead. Golly man! I am playing like dog shit. This video might never see the light of day with gameplay like this. Holy shit man. Shotgun. Shotgun. You gotta love the Matador from across the fucking map. I can't really talk because that's what I've been using in Trials, so... It's too good of a shotgun not to use in Trials. And you have to use shotgun pretty much in Trials. That's the, the distance that you can close on this map, or on this game, is just so fast you have to use a shotgun, for me, in my opinion. Oh, you fuck. Damn it, he got away. All right, let's see if we can get here going. Golly, I am always getting shot in the fucking back, man. We're winning, though. We are winning, so that's okay. As long as you win, it doesn't even matter, right? That's one down. He's hurt. He is so hurt. There we go. Crouch. Survive. Survive. There we go. Sneak behind them right here. Because they seem to like to hide out in these these outer parts of the map for whatever reason. Alright, thank you. He left? No, he didn't. Oh, nice nade. Nice nade. Good job, teammate. Oh, God. 
That's hammer. Run for your fucking life. You're done. Another battle won. Let's go. Final blow by your boy. So, that is going to be my gameplay review of the Outbreak Prime. Now, normally, like I said, my normal weapon review, I break it down each perk, recommend which one I like. What I did this time was just show you how I'm going to use the weapon. You got to see that it does 25 critical, 17 body, and you got to see um, kind of the rate of fire and how it plays in certain situations. Now, uh, the only only problem I has was the people closing distance with your shotgun, so that's normal. Um, with, especially with pulse rifles, if you're not running hand cannons, it's definitely hard to compete with a shotgun. But what I recommend in PvP, definitely, definitely, with the the way the see if you get a critical, the way the Siva nanites leave a kind of a cloud behind it to either attack the teammates of his or just put a barrier in between the next guy closing distance on you is great especially when you're proccing that with outlaw you're almost ready for the next engagement anyway so either way it's a win-win so with that being said my name is cbs i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash a like if you're new don't forget to subscribe i live stream here on youtube on a regular basis so if you'd like to see live stream if you want to interact with me you should subscribe for that also twitch.tv forward slash cbs king 757 i will be live streaming over there just as often so if you haven't followed me over there you should do that as well um and with all that self-promotion out of the way, again, my name is CBS. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to tell your mother to call me, and then I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. What are you waiting for? Do it! Yes, you can!